Good morning, Outdoors Ohio. It is September 8th, and we are out here on the farm to do ground blinds. And guys, I don't think I've ever been out to do ground blinds in September in a hoodie. It is 51 degrees right now down here. The high today is 65. I can't ask for a better day to come out and put blinds out. So we're gonna get ground blinds out. We're only gonna film one of putting out. We're gonna put three out today. Um, so that is the plan today, um, but I'm super excited about it. Beautiful day to do it. Three weeks left till opening day here in Ohio. So super excited about that. So looking forward to it. Most of these blinds obviously are going out so I could take my two, my two kids out, Cassidy and Cody. They obviously want to come out and hunt with me. So, you know, we'll certainly get them out and um, they want to come out and hunt. So that's the main reason. But obviously there's some spots here that I, I do want to have a blind. I'm out of tree stands. So um, we'll go ahead and do that. And I also want to tell my mom happy birthday today. I won't say her age, but today is her birthday. So happy birthday, mom. But other than that, we're going to get cracking and uh, we're going to film this first blind. And after that, like I said, we'll just film when they're all done and kind of discuss a little bit about it but we'll catch up with you All right, guys, we put the blind in here already. It fits in there nice. So we'll video, I'll show you, the, again, these tent pegs, the mallet, all that, what we're gonna do, the spider spray, all that. So we're gonna film that part of it and then uh, hopefully get this knocked out pretty quick. There's a lot of poison ivy here. I don't get along with poison ivy at all. So um, I'm gonna pull my sleeves down at sweat and keep my uh, gloves on. Um, I don't need any poison ivy for the next three weeks. So um, we're going to go ahead and film this and we'll get back to you. Hi guys welcome back blind is done just did a little camo nothing overdone and you don't have to so we're just gonna zip that door up but this is the main trail you can see the trail going right through there and out and like I said I've had a tree stand up in that tree right there but I'm out of tree stand so we're gonna deal with this here so the next spot we're going is actually only about 150 yards down here to the west and uh, put a blind over there but that thing's all done behind me so that's an Amer Ameristep brick house so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pack our stuff up and head to the next one all right guys welcome back blind number two is out right behind me it's not super concealed it's under that big down tree you got a big limb that's down, so I just kind of piled it in here. And the main reason, obviously, right in front here is soybeans. But as you see, there's acorns. All in here. And if I walk right down here, there's acorns falling as I walk over here. But there's acorns all in here. 
Look at all the acorns. Got a big old oak. And as the beans are mowed. So I'm gonna go pull that branch, pull it over here, kind of camo that in a little bit more. Then we're gonna move to the other spot. Just kind of want to show you why we were doing it. Um, and we can hunt this pretty much on a west wind, a northwest, a north, and be able to hunt that. But it looks it looks decent. So I'm gonna pull that limb over here. And we got one more blind, then we're going to do a food plot update at the split in the north end. We'll get back to you. Alright guys, welcome back. We had a change of plans. I had a whole other spot to go with the blind, but with the farm, the way it's set up, and they put a bunch of hay bales and blind, uh, blocked off the trail, all that. So we improvised um, where the grapevine mock scrape tree stand is the actual grapevine tree stand um, we're about 80 yards from it north um, and I chose to put it right here because the soybeans are out here and there's so much browse out here and the cool part is I'm figuring we can inter intercept them look at all the acorns down here and they're all the way through so I'm hoping maybe we'll catch them coming up from where that scrape is but working their way back up to the soybeans which you can see the trail right behind my thumb so I'm kind of hoping that'll be the case but that's the blind that'll be an early season evening set that's it but that'll work for um, in east, southeast, um, even a straight south. So that should work really good in the evening. So um, we don't have a lot of stands in spots for southeast or easterly wind. So that'll be great, especially early season. So hopefully catch them munching on these acorns on, on their way out to the bean field. So we're going to go up and check on the food plots. We'll get back to you. We are heading down to the north plot. I was going to check the split, but I'll just wait till next weekend when we check trail cameras. So we're just going to check the north plot here. See what she looks like. It's be four weeks, guys. So let's see what we got here. Ooh. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Here we go. Guys, I think I've made my decision. I think I'm going to stick with Whitetail Institute. This is not, this is not what I'm used to. Um, it is heavily browsed. It is. It's heavily browsed. Um, heavily browsed. And see all that? Most of that's weeds. Wow, guys, I'm really disappointed. Well, guys, all the hype around Domain, I'm not buying it, guys. This is the first year I kind of significantly just went with one major company. Like I said, I put Whitetail Institute Destination, but guys, it wasn't even a quarter of the bag. I mixed in here with Green Machine, and um, I'm disappointed. Um, I have never had... Um, I've never had food plots do this poor, um, ever, ever. So I know there's a lot of guys out there that are swearing by domain. Guys, I'm not buying it. I'm not into it. So um, kind of disappointed. So um, next year I can tell you we're going with Whitetail Institute. Very disappointed. So, But uh, that's four weeks. And guys, I'm used to seven, eight inches easy by Whitetail Institute. This is terrible absolutely terrible I will never use this again so um, 
for all those guys using domain I don't I don't know guys this is bad so um, we're gonna catch up with you at the Jeep all right guys we're back um, we're doing our uh, close up whatever round up whatever you want to call it um, so we got the blinds out not one we didn't put where we wanted but I think it'll be the third ones in a decent spot um, I'm really disappointed with this north plot super disappointed so I can promise you I will not go with domain again um, very disappointed in it um, I don't even know what to say don't even know what to say never had food plots you can go back and check my videos the last two three four years and uh, always had really good success I went to domain and it's garbage so um, but anyway as far as ground blinds guys I, I use them for my kids mainly in areas where I'm out of tree stands or you can't put a tree stand um, they can be very very beneficial um, but I'm not a big blinds person um, but I know a lot of guys are, are definitely using them um, it's easier it's quick um, and if you're putting them out you can definitely put them out the day of your hunt or the day before um, but you have to camo them in really good but if you put them out ahead of time I usually do three or four weeks um, ahead of the, the uh, season and uh, the deer get used to them pretty quick so as um, long as you're following that you know you're you're good to go but if you are putting them out the day or two before the hunt make sure you're camoing them in but it, you put them out ahead of time they get used to it it's no big deal just make sure you're leaving those windows open you're gonna shoot out of don't close them up and then pop them open they'll see it so but other than that um, I want to thank all my subscribers and all my new subscribers I really appreciate the uh, support it means a lot so thank you very much and uh, please uh, share comment and like these videos and uh, we'll keep bringing you content next week we got a another uh, camera check and uh, we're gonna do two brand new mock scrapes at the bottleneck and the um, crossing sets so uh, we'll do that so you'll join us with that I hope so thanks for watching please subscribe we'll catch you on the next adventure